On the ground, partnerships are key to building successful business that addresses local needs and nowhere more so than in Africa. So we've partnered with Ice Addis, experts in innovation in Africa, and talked to Marcus Lemmer, based in Ethiopia's capital, about our goal of building an innovation network across the continent. One of the things we really value is like our uh, relationship and network within, within, the, within the African continent. We're a very pan-African company. Um, so like, you know, being the Ethiopian company, uh, and it goes beyond Ethiopia because we actually like believe in like in, in, in the narration of like, you know, the new narration of like Africa uh, and, and, and the startup, the catalyst of like its growth and, you know, mobile technology and, and, and different technologies actually being leapfrogging um, through, throughout the continent. You know, when we started back in 2011, there are only few um, hubs and, and incubators are existing in the, in the continent. Um, and, uh, and now it's like mushrooming. Now currently we're planning to do in, in five countries, which will extend into 25 African countries. Um, and we, as a target group, like we have three um, different target groups. So the developers are like one. And the second thing is like the entrepreneurs and the startups and also the policymakers, because it's actually like this needs to be organized as, as one community. The first time, you know, when we actually start this conversation with, uh, with IOHK about the, the partnership, it comes very natural because like we have similar value about driving innovation and technology in African continent. Uh, and then that was a community oriented approach. Um, so it's, it's not really top down approach, but really like trying to work within the grassroots community of technology experts and researchers and, and, and startups. There's a very strong technical team uh, from IRHK uh, to, to help build tech products. Oftentimes we talk about like Silicon Valley, right? Like it's just a collection of companies in one place. And um, I think no one really doubt about the value of like having um, like-minded people, people who are actually doers, not really talkers, you know, bring them together. They actually always create something uh, meaningful. A lot of this technological adaptation requires like a lot of engagement from, from the communities. Um, so, um, you know, like the, the countries like, in, like that you mentioned, like in Nigeria, in Kenya, here in Ethiopia, and, and all the, the, the different countries like that actually like we plan to do. Um, one of the, the basic things we need to do is like, where do we get like the community leaders who's gonna push technology uh, forward, or create like new, new ideas, contextual ideas within these countries. Um, so we wanna actually like foster um, collaboration with, uh, with, with community members. Um, so we're gonna work with like, you know, uh, community leaders from the tech community and ambassadors to launch new events and, 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 and activities, either through like IOHK uh, Cardano campuses within these, these countries or partnering with like innovation hubs and, and incubators like ourselves um, and, and kick off like different meetups and, and, and events and, and informal informal networking opportunities. In Ethiopia now with ICOG Lab and, and IOHK um, and, and I said this like we're coming together as like in one, in one, in one campus. Um, so that like we can create that that kind of feeling that you know there is a, a larger uh, community uh, that can engage and then we can you know uh, share resources uh, we can co-launch uh, networking activities and, and hopefully you know like also like there are international and local visitors that are coming you know they can actually get access to all those three companies in one place instead of like disjoint, disjointed locations. I thought this like we're gonna plan meetups and events in each um, this, uh, these communities in, in mostly like in the capital cities, but also like the, the second tier um, uh, cities um, to kick off the first activities. And, and hopefully um, a lot of these activities will be like self-funded, um, self-sufficient in, in the long term so that they can actually drive activities within their, um, within their environment. Uh, so this is actually like our plan. Um, to do um, this year, or is starting from this year and then expanding to the 25 countries uh, in the upcoming years. So there it is, a community-led approach to train and onboard developers to Cardano in five and ultimately 25 countries across the continent. Mm -hmm.